Warm greetings, my fellow thought explorers. Today, we embark on a journey along the highways and byways of the human mind, a journey that intertwines language, logic, and life. With the whispers of wind against the willow trees, and the echoes of our thoughts against the vast expanse of our minds, we dive deep into an ocean of inquiry. We're about to traverse through the intriguing corridors of philosophy, where words weave wonders and logic lays the labyrinth of life. We will be in the company of a luminary who has left indelible imprints on the sands of time, Ludwig Wittgenstein. What if I told you that the bounds of our world are the limits of our language? This is not a mere speculation, but a profound question to ponder. Does our language shape our reality, or does our reality shape our language? Are our cognitive capacities enslaved by the syntax and semantics we've learned, or do they break free, creating unique interpretations of the world around us? Language, as Wittgenstein expounds, is not merely a tool for communication, but a mechanism through which we understand, interpret, and interact with the world. Language is the lens through which we perceive reality. It is the scaffold upon which we construct our understanding of existence. Wittgenstein's philosophy of language, encapsulated in his works, Tractatus Logico Philosophicus, and Philosophical Investigations, plays with this idea, presenting a dynamic exploration of language and its connection to our lived experiences. Wittgenstein was a maestro of the mind, conducting symphonies of thought with his philosophical propositions. He saw a profound relationship between language and logic. To him, language was not a chaotic jumble of words and meanings, but a structured system, as systematic and principled as the laws of logic. In his early work, Wittgenstein proposed the picture theory of language. He posited that propositions, sentences that assert facts, function as pictures of reality. They represent, or picture, the state of affairs in the world. In this way, language, he argued, is intrinsically linked to the world it describes, and the structure of language mirrors the logical structure of reality. Later in his life, Wittgenstein's perspective on language evolved. In Philosophical Investigations, he introduced the concept of language games. He suggested that language does not have a single, overarching logic, but is rather a variety of activities or games each with its own rules and uses. This view emphasizes the social aspect of language and its role in shaping our shared understanding of reality. The echoes of Wittgenstein's philosophies resound in the works of countless scholars, artists, and thinkers. Renowned philosopher Bertrand Russell, a contemporary of Wittgenstein, was deeply influenced by his ideas. Russell's theory of descriptions and his exploration of the relationship between language and reality bear Wittgenstein's imprint. The reverberations of Wittgenstein's ideas can also be found in the realm of literature. The novels of David Foster Wallace, particularly Infinite Jest, grapple with the complexities of language and the challenges of communication, reflecting Wittgenstein's belief in the power of language to shape our understanding of the world. David Markson's Wittgenstein's Mistress takes this exploration further by crafting an entire narrative around a character who is the last person on earth, exploring the function and meaning of language when there is no one else to communicate with. In the realm of contemporary philosophical discussions, Wittgenstein's ideas continue to spark debates and discussions. Linguistic philosophers grapple with the question of language's relation to reality and cognitive scientists explore how language shapes our cognition and perception. Indeed, the language we speak can influence how we perceive and categorize the world, a phenomenon known as linguistic relativity. This theory, also known as the Sapper-Whorf hypothesis, aligns with Wittgenstein's view that the limits of our language are the limits of our world. The exploration of language and logic, as guided by Wittgenstein, is not a mere intellectual exercise. It is a journey into the essence of human cognition, a deep dive into the way we perceive and understand our world. The way we use language, the words we choose, and the sentences we construct shape our thoughts, actions, and interactions. They, in essence, define our reality.
In the grand tapestry of existence, language and logic are interwoven threads, connecting us to each other and to the world. They are the tools with which we paint our perceptions, and the prism through which we view reality. As Wittgenstein eloquently put it, the limits of my language mean the limits of my world. I thank you, my fellow navigators, for joining me on this journey through the winding corridors of language, logic, and life. Your presence and participation have enriched this exploration, and I am grateful for your engagement. As we part ways today, I invite you to reflect on the power of language in your life. How does your language shape your thoughts, your decisions, and your interactions? How does it limit or expand your world? And most importantly, how can we use the power of language to create a more inclusive, understanding, and empathetic world? Until we meet again on the shores of another philosophical exploration, I leave you with the words of Wittgenstein, don't think but look. Look at the world around you through the lens of language and see what new perspectives unfold. Until then, keep exploring, keep questioning, and keep wandering. The world of philosophy awaits your curious mind.